Welcome back. It's a nice warm February day and the water is up really high. So let's do some prospecting and see if we can find some gold. These gravels right here are all fresh. And this tree right here is like a riffle. So if this were a sluice box, the gold would be dropping out right here. So this is where I'm gonna start on this little brand new gravel bar right here and see what we can find. So I've done a few test pans here and not found much. And so I tested along here and then I went up there near that bank and got the gravels there and had a pretty decent test pan. So I ran a bucket from right there and here's what we got. There's a lot of pieces of gold, but it's a lot of really small gold, but I'm gonna keep working it anyway. This one looks like it's got a lot of iron in it. It's got that rusty color to it a little bit. All right, let's see what we got. And I'm still on it. I can't tell what the camera's picking up or not because of this sunlight is insanity. Let's see if I can get some shade going here for myself. But look how many specks in this pan. That's what I'm talking about. That's a pretty good spec count right there. That's a test pan, if you ask me. Nice. So, I'm getting gold, but it's really, really small. Really, really small. But quite a few specks. You see it climbing all the way up there and all the way over to there. So, Pretty good spec count, and that's my biggest piece of the day, which you can see how small it really is. But I've done pretty well running material like this before, so I'm going to keep going here and see if it gets any better. Every now and then I get a decent sized little flake like that, but not very often. Most of them are super tiny compared to that even. I think I found part of an old drill bit for drilling uh, test cores. This thing is solid iron right here. So I'm definitely digging where the heavies are, that's for sure. Hey, look at that. Got the biggest piece of the day right there. Not bad. And uh, we got a decent amount of colors in there too. Let's see if I can, I can't even see because of the sun. So hopefully it's picking them up because I can't see anything. Well, I'm getting some lead here, but I also got a couple decent little flakes right there. Check that out. It's 
See if I can feel him. Whoa. Not really. But they're still little. You can see how big my index finger is. Well, I dropped my phone in the creek last week. Um, so I put my phone away and just speed pan through as many buckets as I possibly could and took all the black sand home and cleaned it up. So let's go check it out and see what we got. All right, let's check out the lead for the day. 0.4 grams of lead. So the material is classified down to 50 mesh because uh, the vast majority of my gold is under 50 mesh. So hopefully uh, this will give us a pretty good capture rate. So I'm going to catch my tailings. That way we can pan them out and find out about the capture rate. Um, but uh, we're looking good. Oh, got to make sure there's no bubbles in any of the cells. One time I forgot to check that and had to rerun everything because uh, the gold can't sink into the cells if there's a big bubble. So, all right, I think we're good now. And I'm gonna feed it kind of slow because the gold is super small. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there might be some gold showing up right there, but it's hard to tell. Alright, let's look and see if there's anything visible in here or not. Oh yeah, there's some flour down in those cells. Check that out. That's nice. Oh, look at that one. Wow. Oh. It's pretty much in every cell. Wow. Wow, look at that. Already showing up right there. Nice. All right, let's run it one more time and see how much we get. Can't forget the bubbles. Sometimes it's hard to get the bubbles out. All right, there we go. And here we go, one more time. Here is what we found in the tailings on the second run. Not very much in those pieces right there. Even though there's several, they're very, 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 very small. 
I pan through my tailings very slowly. So this has already been run twice through the dream mat, cleanup sluice, and there's a couple thousand pieces of gold that I could pan out. But look at the size of it. So two runs through the dream mat did not catch this, but can anything catch it? I don't know. There you go. I got it spread out a little bit. I mean, it's really hard to convey how small this stuff really is to the naked eye. You cannot see the individual specks with the naked eye. But there's thousands, thousands of colors in my tailings. So the gold's basically clean. I just dumped out the snuffer bottle. And that's what it looks like before I tap it up. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah. That's looking pretty good right there, I would say. Wow, there's my hand for size reference. It's decent. Point two three grams that's pretty good pretty good almost a quarter gram not quite but I'll take it and for 2023 1.006 grams for the year so far. Not bad. So I want to be really clear about this. I said that I lost thousands of pieces of gold in the cleanup mat, and that's not a knock on the dream mat, because if you were to calculate the capture rate, I'd say it's pretty close to 99%. So that really, really tiny gold, I don't think any mat can catch 100% of it. You just got to run your cons multiple times and pan through it slowly. Well, I'm going to hike on back to my spot and get some gold for uh, next week's video, but I appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and join the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash rookie gold prospector, and I'll see you next time.